Trying to cut a brick in half. 4570. Underwood ammo. Yeah, it's a, it hits like a wrecking ball. Let's go down and have a look at that. <laughs> Clear. Can it see it? No. It's too zoomed in, but it's clear. <laughs> Boy, when those things hit. Where is it? There it is. Look at that damage. Jeez. I mean, obviously, you know, three-inch cement is hard. That's, well, about the length of my thumb, as you can see. <laughs> Jeez. And that was a good 12-inch block. I mean, you know, I was, like, hit before, but, <laughs> geez. You can tell where that thing went through, too. Look at that shit. Jeez. Those Underwood ammos are wrecking balls. You saw how that thing exploded. <laughs> you do not want to be on the receiving end of that, that's for sure. Dang. Let's, well, let's see. That's a good three feet away, that chunk there. And I had it sitting right up against here, right there, right here, and it just Hit it and sheesh. <laughs> just fractures. <laughs> Jeez. That you can tell, uh, you know, spread out a little when it hit that, but sheesh. Such force. Well, let's go take a look at the footage of that thing exploding when it hit. But any questions? Henry 4570, uh, H101, Underwood ammo with Lehigh defense rounds, plus P, 305 grain. I think it's safe to say these things could probably kill anything on Earth. Just a, uh, yeah. I would take a fair guess that you could probably penetrate an elephant with it if they'd let you. <laughs> Dang. How to shoot an animal or ammo there is and they're made out of brass. <laughs>